Okay, I'm at Mike and Leah's house. We're looking at um, updating the size of the furnace um, and adding some vents in a um, basement. Um, so right now, we're in a utility room. It is a walkout. Uh, you can see the high efficiency furnace that's in here right now. It's actually a seaweed furnace, 100,000 BTU. We're gonna bump it up to um, 120. Looks like they got a five ton coil here at the same time. So we'll have the coil sit down on the new d -wood furnace. We've got room for a base. We've got some room on the right side. So uh, return drop size right, so furnace on a base and then uh, reconnect it to the um, A coil. Have to put the um, AC under a vacuum at the same time. See the drain close by. Side. And then the access you can see there's a slider to get in and out so as far as um, adding vents are concerned um, we come out we've got like a main kind of living area right now there's just two vents um, for this room we want to add another two to the outside wall as far as the supply trunk you can see it's a finished basement so we'll need to cut into yeah, the supply trunk to so add two two on the outside and then we could get another one you know kind of in this middle area either off the end or um, under the bottom of the main trunk so that's three and then I'm not quite sure without cutting into the drywall that this room is cold, just has the one vent. All the joists are running the right direction for us, so we're able to get another one in this room. Maybe closer to the door. Um, so that would be ideal, an extra four. This pool area, I'm just not sure how to get across here. So I'm not going to make a commitment to this room, but at least add four, increase the size of the furnace um, to get some extra heat in this living area. Um, that's it. There is a return that was cut in just underneath the bottom of the bar.